The life of a content creator in a noisy ass house. I'm sorry, I read like a child. It's crazy. Why is the pink called Christmas Town? I would love to know. Like, whoa, that was really pigmented. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited because I'm gonna be reviewing the ColourPop Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I have the entire collection and I'm gonna go through each product and kind of tell you my thoughts on everything. I also do three looks using the eyeshadow palette, which is right here, isn't it so pretty? Like the packaging is everything, honestly. This is the third look I created and I used almost everything in the collection, which is really cool. And yeah, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do a ton of reviews just like this and let's get into this video. Okay, so the collection does come with an eyeshadow palette, three lipsticks, three jelly much eyeshadows two eyeliners a sponge and a glitterly obsessed as well as a pack of rhinestones by the way the entire collection is still available on the ColourPop website it is 115 dollars for everything but you can use any discount code i think it does work i use a discount code and i'm pretty sure i got the entire collection for a hundred dollars i'm gonna show each individually right now so the pack of rhinestones is really nice i didn't get to use it in any of the looks that i did but honestly i look forward to using it at some point i know i'm gonna get use out of it i do love to use rhinestones in my looks for sure the crystals are eight dollars each glitterly obsessed honestly these are some of my favorite products from ColourPop. i think they're very unique and i don't know another brand that does anything similar to this i really do like the glitterly obsessed it is a purple it has like a purple shift and it's got a bunch of glitter like different size glitters in here and it is like a jelly consistency i really like putting this in the inner corner especially i've never really used it on the lid it doesn't really dry down so i feel like the inner corner is like the safest bet to use that product in i did use this in the first look so you're gonna see me apply it i also did use almost all of the jelly much eyeshadows there are three jelly much eyeshadows in shock lock and barrel and they are in like the shades that are you know standard across this entire collection the trio of terror itself is 28 dollars, but individually the jelly much shadows are 10 dollars each each of the individual liners are 10 dollars each and they are basically just white and black eyeliners which i loved i used both of them for the different looks that I did. This collection does come with three cream looks lipsticks in Oogie Boogie, Jack Skellington, and Sally. They're $10 each. The Oogie Boogie shade is a nude. The Sally shade is a pink. And the Jack Skellington shade is the red that's on my lips right now. The palette itself is $22, but there's like an eye and face set. So it has like all the eye products and that's $70. I did think that everything swatched really, really nicely. I was really impressed with the mattes in this palette. The shimmers are okay. ColourPop is one of my favorite brands because it is just so affordable really really good quality makeup at a decent price so that's what i love about color pop and honestly everything in this collection was gorgeous i love the packaging i am just if you are a nightmare before christmas fan just like run don't walk and, and actually this is available at ulta as well by the way like i said i did three looks let's get into the looks okay so for this first look i don't even know what i want to do i'm just so in love with the packaging i almost don't even want to use this palette but like we're gonna because that's the point, right, of life. What do I wanna do first? I usually go with like the more neutral everyday kind of look first, but I'm thinking that I wanna do the purple. I don't know, I'm feeling the purple so hard right now. I love this shade over here. Normally I don't like their mattes that have the glitter in it, but like it's so pretty. So I think I'm gonna incorporate some purple and pink and incorporate this like black and purple. Like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna start with Sandy Claws, which is this pink shade over here. And that's gonna go all over the crease. I love this shade of pink. I am assuming it's going to stay in my eye. Honestly, I'm quite impressed with this matte. It blends out with ease. It does take a little bit to build up. Next, I'm going to take the shade Everybody's Scream, which is this like darker burgundy shade. My laptop is making a hell of a lot of noise. The dogs are barking. It is what it is. This is daily life, right? The life of a content creator in a noisy ass house. <laughs> this color combo is giving me life. That one has a crazy amount of fallout, like crazy. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that first shade, make sure it's still peeking through. They are blending out really nicely though. No patchiness, no weirdness, I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the lock. What is this called? The Jelly Much Shadow. I have swatches all over my arm. It's like this purple over here. I think it's gonna look really good when we put the shadow on top of it. It's just gonna make that purple eyeshadow pop. So that's what we're gonna do. Over top, we're gonna take the shade Dr. Finkelstein and we're gonna put that in like the inner half, I guess, of the lid. See how it pops over? Yep, 
That's exactly what I wanted. I just want to make that purple pop like a lot more. It looks a little crazy now, but I'm going to fix it. Crazy amounts of fallout, guys. Let me tell you. They're very pigmented, so obviously that, that does mean there's going to be quite a bit of fallout. Comes the fun part. We're going to take a little bit. We're going to see how this goes. I don't generally like glitter in my crease, but we're going to see how it goes. We're going to take Halloween Town, which is the matte black with like... It's got like pink, purple. Oh, it's so pretty. Like glitter oh my god crazy amounts of fallout that is the only thing about color pop that like gets me a little bit i'm just gonna fluff some in the outer corner and take some into the crease you have to be very careful with the shade i definitely recommend not doing your foundation first when using these it is so messy it's getting everywhere it actually really looks so nice in the crease i'm very very happy about that honestly so it's gonna take a little bit more of everybody's screen which is the darker pink and like kind of blend that over top make sure it's still peeking through really want the pink to be like prominent in the crease and not black and while i'm at it i'm just gonna take it on the lower lash line then i'm gonna take the lighter pink and i'm gonna take some of the glitterly obsessed which i am obsessed with i love putting this in the inner corner it does take some getting used to it's like a little strange feeling because it's wet but i love having that little pop of glitter in the inner corner girl you know i'm gonna take the pink because we got we got to make use out of this pink. I just don't know what lip liner. Let's try this V close. Sorry, V cute <laughs> lip liner. It's almost purpley. I think it'll make a cute little ombre with the pink, and that way we can incorporate both colors. You just know we're gonna take Sally. Oh, it's so creamy. I really like the formula of ColourPop looks lipsticks. Okay, so this is the final first look. I'm loving how this turned out. I think it's a lot of fun. I will say the lip color does stain. I've already experienced it because I did eat lunch and I took off the lipstick and my lips were stained. I'm also a little disappointed in the purple shimmer in the sense that it did fade while I was eating lunch. I had to reapply it because it wasn't as intense as it first was. So just something to keep in mind, the shimmers aren't like, you know, Natasha Denona Pat McGrath quality, but I still am really impressed with the quality of this palette in comparison to other ColourPop palettes I've tried. So I'm really happy with how this turned out and I can't wait to get into some of the other colors. I just thought this was a really fun, like purple pink vibe. I love the lips. Oh, so fun. Such a fun summer color. Now, I will say, I asked my hubby when he got home, I was like, does this remind you of Nightmare Before Christmas at all in the slightest? And he said no. <laughs> and it's not really the exact color story we were all hoping for when it comes to Nightmare Before Christmas, but it's still a really fun palette so far. I can't wait to check out the other shades and see how they perform on the eyes. So let's get into look number two. Okay, for this next look, I want to keep it in the gray kind of tones and maybe add a pop of pink. I'm going to start off with this meant to be shade, which is like a taupe transition shade it's a perfect transition shade i decided not to do my face makeup first because there is a lot of kickback with these shades and i just really didn't want that hassle of having to clean that up again so i'm just going to take this all over the crease as my transition shade what? i'm going to wing it out a little bit a tiny bit the shade's blending out so nice it's like the perfect cool tone transition shade i love it so far next i'm going to take the shade in my bones <laughs> I'm sorry, I read like a child. This is like a gray shade. I thought it had glitter, but honestly, it's the glitter from the other shades that it's falling out all over the palette. So I'm glad it doesn't have glitter. Oop, this is the wrong brush. I'm gonna take this shade to deepen out the crease. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this shade. I love cool tones. I don't wear them enough. I don't know, I'm just always like into the warm tone eyeshadow shades. This is gorgeous, so pretty. Now I'm gonna take the Shock Jelly Mud Shadow, which is the pink, and that's gonna go all over the lid. This will help prepare for the pink shadow we're gonna take on the lid anyway this one is really pretty though it's got like a purpley shift these are so pretty i love this color combo loving this so far what i like about these is that you can make them as opaque as you want or as what's it called transparent as you want so you could just be like a wash of color where you could really pack it on i really like it though okay let's go ahead and set it with the um christmas town honestly why is the pink called christmas town i would love to know because this does not remind me of Christmas, like not even a little bit. I will say the shimmers are not my favorite formula. They never have been though. ColourPop, like they aren't known for like their shimmers. I mean, they're just known to be a really nice affordable brand, which is what I get the vibes when I use this really great quality for the price, but not like the best quality in the world. I love shimmers from, you know, the higher end brands because obviously they're going to be better. All right, and let's try to deepen out the outer corner just a little bit more. I wish there was like a black black, like an actual black. It's frustrating. I think I might have to go back in with that other shade over there, which I used in the last look, and I kind of wanted this look to look a 
little different but you know what let's just do it i'm gonna go in with the shade over here it has that it's like that matte with some glitter in it and it's just gonna help deepen out the outer corner a little bit more i don't know i like depth in my looks i always say this i just don't think that the mattes get deep enough in this palette personally i would have preferred like a normal <laughs> matte black okay so i'm actually gonna do a white wing liner with the this is the jack skellington oh no the pumpkin king eyeliner oh because i want to just see how it works and i just think it'll go really nicely i don't know so i went ahead and took away some of the eyeshadow close to my lash line so it wouldn't like interfere oh my god that's so pigmented i love it this is gorgeous i love it all right so i'm gonna use a sponge now since i forgot to do that the last time for the last look and oh my, it like expands a lot it gets huge so hopefully it doesn't absorb a lot of the product it's such a huge sponge though i freaking love it it's very firm it's not my favorite kind of consistency i'm not gonna lie by the way i'm using the ColourPop pretty fresh foundation which is one of my favorites of all time i think it's just a little too big and we'll see when i do the concealer because it just seems really really fat i don't know if you guys can see it kind of moved some of the product that was already down instead of blending it into my face it kind of moved it around it feels like it absorbs like too much water like if i squeeze it water will still be coming out of it and it, i squeezed it hard so it's not my favorite sponge but it's really cute so <laughs> and I, I bought it purely for the packaging to be quite honest exactly as i thought it's just a little bit i don't know it kind of like feels weird under the eyes i don't know it's really hard it's kind of hard to get right up in there it's not my favorite sponge that's for sure i think it absorbs a little bit of the product too the sponge is actually really nice for cream bronzer though it doesn't leave it super streaky or patchy or anything which i love okay on the lower lash line i'm gonna start with frog's breath which i haven't used yet so i just really wanted to use as many shades as i can in the palette if i was not doing a look for a video i might not use this shade on the actually it looks really nice with this particular look i don't know i was thinking that it wouldn't look i don't know good but i think it does it's kind of like a cool tone brown with like some purple reflect in it it's really pretty and then in the inner corner i'm gonna take the shade zero which is like just a shimmery like sh whoa that was really pigmented i love it it's like an icy gorgeous inner corner highlight i love it it's so pretty oh, oh my god that's so pretty that instantly became like my favorite shade in the palette. It's so random, I know, but <gasps> I love it. Okay, for lips, let's do... I'm gonna take like the neutral, obviously, because it's it's a lot of color, right? So I'm gonna go in with Beeper. Then we're gonna take Oogie Boogie, which is the nude. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> that's a lot more warm than I thought it would be. I don't know. It's pretty anyway i love the combo okay so this is the final second look i love how this turned out i think that the gray shades are so so stunning and i actually really enjoy this shade over here i think it's useful for deepening out the outer corner i like depth in my looks i would have preferred it to be like more of a matte black but it's okay it actually doesn't come across as all that glittery once you apply it like the glitter kind of like disappears a little bit i will say the shimmers are very very lackluster in my opinion but they're really really nice like it's a really nice quality palette for the price i love the white eyeliner and i love the nude lip i think that they are stunning so so pretty yeah okay let's get into the next look i'm really excited okay so for this last look i'm gonna start with the shade what's this oh my god it's so cute though the imprint on that one adorable it's like the reddish orange ish shade and that's gonna go all over the crease this will be my transition shade if you can even really call it that this is gorgeous. I'm really impressed with the mattes of this palette. The shimmers are just like whatever, but the mattes are really, really nice and they blend out very easily. They're very pigmented, but you have to be careful because they do. I kept my makeup on from the last look. Same day, same makeup look. So I just didn't want to have to redo my foundation. It's, we'll have to see. Hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't get everywhere. I'm just going to build up the shade quite a bit. I'm also just going to go ahead and take that on the lower lash line since I already know that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take Dear Friend, which I haven't used yet. So this is like a deeper brown. Let's see how this goes. I don't know. In my head, I'm envisioning something that it may not give me. So I don't really know how I'm, I would deepen this out otherwise, to be honest. But whatever. We're just going to blend that. Start in the outer corner first and then i'll bring it into the crease with whatever's left on my brush also just gonna run that on my lower lash line i quite wish that the red was a little bit more pigmented you know i'm trying to like get it to peek through while still blending in with the brown if that makes any sense and it's just like not 
not doing what I wanted to do. Oh, well, that's kind of better. You just kind of have to build it up and blend it out. Build it up, blend it out. On the lid, I'm just going to take the shade Pumpkin Patch. I'm not going to take any of the Jelly Munch shadows. This one seems a little bit more like crumbly, which is what I... Oh, no, it got everywhere. Oh my God, that's so annoying. But this is the way I enjoy shimmer shades like to be really, really crumbly so that they're very pigmented, but it just got everywhere. So recommend either using a setting spray to like make sure they stick together, a glitter glue or cutting your crease or something because it is kind of annoying, but it's okay. I love that shade. That is pretty. I love it. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to take that same shade zero that I took in the last look because it's so pretty in the inner corner. I love it. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, obsessed. I'm gonna do a wing liner with the, what's this called? Scream Queen. It's just a black liner. I really like how thin the applicator is. It is very, very precise. I noticed that with the white one that I used in the last look, it, it was very easy to do the wing liner, honestly. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna be using the Jack Skellington lipstick. Right? This is called Jack Skellington. Yeah, it's the red. Just gotta keep that red going. Honestly, the red has already really faded. It almost looks like a peach, which is meh. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. I'm gonna first go in with the bossy lip liner, lippy, lippy pencil, whatever it's called. So cute. Okay, so this is the third and final look. Okay, I really love how this look turned out. I think it's a nice everyday look. Like, I would totally rock this on a daily basis, like minus the lashes and the red lip, obviously. I really love the palette. The best part about this entire collection, obviously, is the packaging. You obviously want to be, like, a really big fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Otherwise, it isn't, to me, like, the most amazing color pop palette I've ever tried. I love the color story, and I think the mattes are really beautiful. They're pigmented, but they do have a lot of fallout, and that's, like, annoying. I would do your eyes first when you using this palette for sure. I can't wait to create a bunch of other looks with this palette. Personally, I love it. I think it's a great palette, but I mean, the shimmers are a little lackluster. The mattes just have a lot of fallout, etc. But I mean, it's a really nice palette. I love the collection in general. I think that the Jelly Mud shadows are really fun. I think they're great one and done eyeshadows. I did not try, which one was it that I didn't try? Was it Barrel? Yeah, it's Barrel. Barrel is a really nice one and done shade, like everyday shade. It's got a little bit of a multi-chrome in it. Oh, or a duochrome at least. But I love that like taupey like shade for like an everyday look. So I can't wait to test that one out. I really love the lip shades. I know I'm going to be using this one a ton throughout the holiday season. I love the nude lip. I know I'm going to be using that one a ton as an everyday shade, obviously. And the liners are great. I really like how thin the, the like applicators are. They do a wing liner really, really nicely. Quickly, I just wanted to see if this worked. I have my black light here. It is black light activated, not the actual shadows themselves, but the packaging is. That's really cute. I wish the shadows were, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Like a UV kind of eyeshadow collection from ColourPop would be amazing, but but this is this is really pretty, isn't it? My nails are like black light activated too. I really can't complain about anything in this collection. I think everything is stunning. It's still in stock right now, but they do like I'm sure it's limited edition, but they have a bunch of, you know, color pop releases so much. But this is just something I was so genuinely excited for. I just love the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's such a fun collection. I would have loved for them to release it earlier in October so I could get more use out of it in my Halloween looks, but at the same time, it is also a Christmas movie, which, you know, makes it like, I don't know, it makes it so cool. So I'm going to be using this a ton for sure does this palette scream nightmare before christmas to me and not even a little bit i'm not even gonna lie honestly i would have expected like a different color story in general i mean that's what everyone's thinking i'm sure i'm not the only one feeling this way but yeah okay that completes this video please do let me know which look was your favorite i have to say i'm between one and two honestly this is just a kind of boring everyday look but whatever i really like it anyway let me know which one was your favorite thank you so much for hanging out with me today if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it helps me out so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye no stop it <laughs> lucy oh my gosh bro i swear to god more than i thought i would i think it's useful for blending i think it's useful for you know make 